What's up you guys, Shortness Prime here, doing another P.O. Box pickups video. Stopped by the P.O. Box today, it's Friday, and there was a lot of stuff in the P.O. Box, so much to the point where I was like, you know what, I gotta split this up between a couple of videos. So not all the stuff that I got in the P.O. Box, I'm not gonna open everything today, I split it up, you know, pretty much 50-50 between the letters and packages. I also got something from boy Sean Long, got a Christmas present from him, which I'll be opening here in a second. But let's get to a couple of letters first and foremost. All right, so uh, this one right here is, is, this is from Canada, right over here, and there's no name on it or anything like that. So here are, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. And how you guys been doing, man? It's been a while since, you know, I've done a P.O. Box pickup video. Been a while since I've done a daily vlog, because you know what? Even doing daily vlogs is hard. I think I have OCD or something. Believe it or not, I've actually recorded like a few of those and just didn't post them because I thought I sounded like a douche, you know? I'm just scared to sound like a douche. God forbid the world knows that I'm actually a douche. Anyway, uh, let's see here. All right, so dear Shortimus, I'm a long time viewer and this is actually my second time writing a letter. The first time I sent a drawing of Soundwave, that was a few years ago. Your videos are still doing great and it seems like your collection is seriously bulging out of control. <laughs> That's not the only bulging out of control. Okay, anyway. Uh, anyways, here are a few questions. I remember seeing in one of Boog's videos that you, him, and some other other people were hanging out at some con. He was showing a booth where a dealer collected very rare figures, variant FF, uh, Classic Scroll, Doctor Doom, and the Blue Wasp as well. And then he showed him having a Blue Wasp mint on card. He then showed a picture of you smiling like a little boy while hugging the Blue Wasp, and I was astonished that you actually seemed to have bought it. Do you still have that figure? No. I never owned that figure. I just took a picture of it pretending I owned it. and. It was kind of fun. And actually, you know, for a second there, uh, that actually wasn't my initial intent with taking that picture. I just thought it would be kind of just, you know, just be fun to, you know, as any Marvel Legends collector would want to, like, own that thing. And I was just hugging it just out of pure love for that incredibly rare figure. And then on my Instagram and Facebook, everyone's like, what? You bought that? And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I never said I bought it. You know what I mean? So never told anybody that I bought that thing. You guys just all assumed I did. A lot of you did anyway. Uh, because if you do, then for sure has to be the rarest figure in your collection. Yes, it would be if I have it. And you're one of the few people who own it. If you don't own it anymore or never did and I'm just making a mistake, would you mind telling us what happened to it? On the topic of rare figures, we all probably know that Solid Snake has every Marvel Legend, yes. But are you aware if he has the Unleashed variants of the Mojo Wave? Yes, he does. Uh, the Black Crimson, Dawn, Psylocke, and Silver Luke Cage. Yes, he has both. Uh, last question, what is your opinion on the... Con and he has the Blue Wasp. Um, last question, what is your opinion on the contract that San Diego has with Comic-Con and that the contract for it uh, is to be hosted in San Diego only lasts until 2016. After that it may be up for grabs due to the amount uh, of needed space each year and the other factors. Apparently other cities have been wanting to host it for years now. I believe one of them is New York. Would you care if it moved? Do you want it to move? Do you, do you not want it to move? Uh, personally I don't want it to move because I haven't gone to an SCCC yet. And if it moves, I'll never be able to say I went to SDCC. Your daily vids have been good. Keep doing what you love. Whether it's continuing to be awesome YouTuber and finding another job, or finding another job, I can tell you you're a hard worker. I'm too lazy to draw anything a second time, so sorry about that. Uh, hopefully this makes it to your PO Box Pickups videos. Thanks for reading. Sincerely, a longtime fan. Well, longtime fan, thank you so much. Uh, very, very nicely written letter and everything. Um, but, yeah, man, thank you. As far as, oh, San Diego Comic Con. I would rather that it stays in San Diego. It's kind of a long drive for us. It's about a 10 hour drive. A lot of people on the East Coast are like, oh, San Francisco, is that is that close to San Diego? No, that's like hella states apart. Like if you were to just flip it over and put it on the other side, it's like the distance between like New York and Georgia or something like that, I think. But anyway, um, I, I would rather have it stay in, um, in San Diego, to be honest with you. If it went to LA, uh, you know, that, that, I guess if I were to move anywhere, I guess I would prefer L.A. over New York. San Francisco would be the coolest, but, you know, we don't even have our WonderCon, so there, there's that. All right, anyway, uh, this is from Mamba uh, from Ontario, Canada. Oh, two can Canadian. Damn, I should have split these letters apart a little better because I got both Canadians right here at once. Much love from Canada. Thank you so much, you guys. And there's a little tidbit thing in it. What is this? Are these cufflinks? Hey, 
Hey, Spider-Man cufflinks! Nice! Right on! Oh, that's badass! Damn, I wish I had these for the wedding. That is sick. Oh, man, I am holding on to these. Thank you. All right, well, let's read the letter here. It says, Hey, Sharpness, I love your Sharpness Wang channel and your main channel. It is inspiring to watch because it takes a great deal of work, ethic, and discipline to upload videos on the daily. You should include your music twerking, uh, twerking in the intro. Love that the best. I'm glad that you and Charlita share similar passions. It's a good thing you put a ring on it. I have a couple of questions I hope you can answer. One, how did you and Charlita meet? Oh, we first met at a party. Good place to meet chicks is going to parties. Um, two, how did you propose to her? Uh, I proposed to her, um, well, <laughs> yeah, I proposed to her at, at uh, the place where we uh, had our first kiss, you know? So uh, that's, we went up to Twin Peaks and I proposed to her up there. Um, yeah, so, but, the, I mean, the only downside is that it was kind of a foggy night, and I didn't know, you know, the weather was going to look so dreary, so. The ambience wasn't exactly there, but the heart was. And, uh, three, I find going in the toy aisle very awkward. I was wondering if you share the same experience with little kids looking at you funny. Um, you know, to be honest with you, not, I have some people that, that'll look at me, but, um, usually if there's, like, a lot of kids in there, like, I'll, I'll just back off, especially if there's nothing too serious I'm looking for. I remember one time I was at Target and I saw a kid and his father having a an, an epic lightsaber battle in the middle of the toy aisle. And I was like, oh, these, these people are hogging up the whole toy, you know, they're hogging the toy aisle. But I was like, you know what, let them be, I'll walk away from it, you know, let them have fun, you know. There's nothing I was really looking forward to that, that was too serious and I had just been there anyway. But those are like the most awkward moments I, I've had. I, I haven't really... Oh, the most awkward moments I've had is when kids have recognized me from the YouTube channel and they don't say anything, and I just get like, you know, that like, kind of like, I think that's short. I, I can tell what you're thinking. I can tell what you guys. I think that's short. Is that short? And then I look, and then they look away. Like, oh my God, is it, it might be him. I don't know. Yeah, and then later on, I'll get a message or a comment like, oh, were you at the uh, Coma Target? You know, on Friday. I was. Like, yeah, I was, or whatever, so. Anyway, uh, your Infinity Gauntlet animation is really funny, and you're a beer and and you're a bearded Thanos, yeah. Sorry about the death of the All-Father Odin. Oh, thanks, still miss the All-Father. He used to wake, uh, every day I used to wake up and he'd be rattling the cage as soon as he'd hear me walking down the hall. Uh, I know how sad it is to lose a pet, their family, after all. Now, you know, I do have another, what's really funny is that for Odin, we bought another guinea pig, Loki. So Loki has an adopted son, and what's kind of sad is that, you know, Odin died, and now Loki's all by himself, and we're not going to get another guinea pig to replace the All-Father. It's the All-Father, man. But now we just have Loki all by himself, which is kind of funny is that, like, when we got Loki, nobody really liked Loki, because Loki was just an accessory for Odin, and now all we have is Loki. But I'm spending more time with Loki and, um, and, and you know, getting him to learn some things, you know, like, I don't know, but not tricks, because guinea pigs don't learn tricks, but they can learn things, which is, so, you know, it, once I get Loki even a little bit, he's been getting a little bit more tame now, you might see Loki pop up in the videos, you know what I mean? So, I still have another guinea pig, Loki. Uh, lastly, I bought you these wedding cufflings, but they did not arrive in time, so please accept this as a Christmas gift. Uh, your viewer, the... M the Mazda Mamba. Mazda Mamba, thank you very, very much. Thanks for the kind words. And these are awesome as hell. I will put this in my family jewels box for sure, man. Thank you. Th that is too cool. I'm definitely wearing them next time I'm dressing up, man. That is badass. And the wife is sitting right over here. She will take a look at those. Thanks so much. Yeah. All right. Now we got uh, three different packages I'm going to open over here. Um, this one is from uh, Michael from Temecula. And let's see here. I'm going to get my new box cutter. Yeah, now this is actually left over from the Ninja Turtles uh, video, but this is a real uh, Hattori Hanzo steel, though. If you watch Kill Bill, you'll notice that uh, this logo and this logo right here are on the sheath, and this cost like 20 bucks, so yeah, $20 for Hator for uh, the Hattori Hanzo steel. Anyway, uh, my actual box cutter, anyway, uh, this is really well packed. Alright, um, I'm going to cut this way and downward right towards my leg. Yeah, like how I shouldn't. And... Okay, let's see. I'm not... Oh, yeah, I'm going to 
cut that and cut like that. And short! Oh, whoa, Masterpiece Pro Box. Whoa. Yeah. It's got uh, Japanese writing all over this. The hell? All right. And wow, Masterpiece. Whoa. This is, uh, wow, damn. I, I, I already have Masterpiece Pro. I'm kind of hoping it's not, but it's kind of light, though, too. And I only say I hope... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we got a different thing inside right here. Oh, nice. All right. Cool, Flashworks. Thanks so much, man. Yes, 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 yes. A lot of people have asked me about this. And I finally got one. I know what it is. Damn it. Okay, I'm not... This is very, very well packed, by the way. Thanks so much, man. Um, yeah, he, he, he had a couple of these and... Thought the price wasn't too shabby. Plus, I've been wanting to review this. A lot of people have been asking me to review this, and wow, finally. Damn. Mafex Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. Right there. Finally got it. A lot of people ask me to review this. Thanks so much, dude. Right on. Right on. Damn. Okay, now I do have the deluxe edition on pre-order at BBTS. So, um, yeah, so I will have that review also, but I will be reviewing this guy shortly, and this looks fantastic. I'm not as excited about that super ultra shiny finish. I kind of like how this looks a little bit more on the back, but we'll see. Maybe the deluxe one will have a different paint job. But, yeah, thanks so much, dude, for, for sending this out and, you know, just bought it off you right on, man. Thank you so much. I forgot. <laughs> Uh, Flashworks, you know, follow his Instagram. His, he takes a lot of great ACBA shots and everything. All right, now this one's from Alfonso. Um, got, thank you so much, Mr. Alfonso. Damn, it. Alfonso, um, being the regular on here on helping shut on uh, supporting the Sharpness Prime channel. What we got over here? Oh, nice. All right, some rare transformers. Some, oh, the Cosmo! Oh, right on. Strap, uh, Strapnel and um, Scrapnel. I thought it was Strapnel for some reason. Yes, and Cosmos. Damn, dude, thank you so much, man. Both of these guys. Difficult to find the Cosmos, especially though that one. Oh, dude, this is perfect. Right on, bro. Thank you so much, Alfonso. And then we got um. Six, six, six. All right, and this is got a little rolled up letter or piece of artwork right here. And let's see what it says. Oh, what? Ah! <laughs> P.O. Box Shark Squad. Yeah! We got a roll of toilet paper and then a P.O. Box right here. Sick. Nice, man. Thank you. Let's see if we can pick this up. It's kind of hard to see because it's drawn in pencil, but you can see the TP and the P.O. Box right there and the Band-Aid. <laughs> right on, man. Thank you so much. I'm going to put this right over here. I still got to get some of the... Um, I got to update the SharpnessPrime.net with some of the shard art that I have not posted up over there. Thank you very much, Mr. Alfonso. Thank you. Now, this last one right here is from Sean Long. I believe this is from Sean Long. He told me he ordered something from Amazon for my Christmas gift, so I'm opening my Christmas gift a little early today. And uh, let's, get, let's get through here. I think I know what this is just by the shape. Oh, wow. Look at, all right, look at this. Here we go. Oh, this is all gift wrapped and everything. Look at that. It says, Merry Christmas, Shardimus Prime. You are a monster of a reviewer and friend. Enjoy your gift, you rock, from Sean. Right on. Say, oh, and it says right here on the back, Yeah, destroy ya. <laughs> I, th I thought it was going to be destroy ya. And, oh, it comes with a little note right here, too. Merry Christmas, Shardimus Prime. You are a monster of Oh, okay, it says the same thing. Oh, right on. I can keep this one, though. This is, oh, this is really cool. You got to see how this is wrapped and everything. I didn't know they did all this. It's probably because he has, like, the super fancy Amazon Prime thing. But look at that. That is awesome. I got to take advantage of that. That is really, really cool. Maybe you got to get me an Amazon Prime. But I really like that. Thanks a lot, bro. Jeez. This is cool. Now I can oh, straight and open, like, a real Christmas present and everything. Like, he's straight here. Oh, he, he's watching the video. I know it. And, oh, this, oh, okay. There goes the bench. Oh my god, yes! Ah, sick! 
This bastard right here is awesome! Wow! Hooey! Damn! Oh, this is badass! Sorry, I, I have to do the gaze. Damn! Look at that though. SH Monster Arts Destroyer. Oh, that is sick! This thing is beast. When I was um, when I was at San Diego Comic Con and I was helping out people at Bluefin, you know, put stuff away. I had the task of repackaging Destroyer. They wanted it put back in the box, and I had never messed with one of the Destroyer figures like, firsthand before. And this is the first, and that was the first time I got to say, I was like, oh my god, I always thought that figure looked hella badass, but now that I've actually manhandled it, and I was like, oh, I hella want it. So I had a Christmas, uh, Sean asked me for a Christmas wish list and I put this on there. And, you know, which is, which is understandable because, you know, people that, you know, review things, like, we still have, like, stuff that we want that, you know, you know, it may seem like we have every single little thing that we want, but, you know, it's not always the case. And really, thank you so much, bro. Thank you, thank you. This is awesome, man. Subscribe to Sean Long's YouTube channel. Link is in the description below. Thanks so much, bro. Right on. All right, you guys. Thanks every everybody sending stuff in. If you guys want to send your letters and artwork, please send it to Shardimus Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. Thanks again, you guys. And I will have another P.O. Box pickup video coming up very soon with other stuff I picked up today. Thanks so much. Peace.